Let's have a look at the last question, question 4. Suppose the price of y equals to 2 times the price of x. So good y is twice as expensive as good x. Which of the two consumers consumes in equilibrium the same amount of both goods of x and y? Now we can answer it doing by uh, algebra or basically by reasoning. And I suggest we do it with reasoning, with intuition to understand uh, the, the common sense here. So if we look at the first consumer, at consumer A, we can see that he spends 50% of his income on X, 50% of his income on Y. So he spends the same money on X and the same money on Y. Now, if Y is twice as expensive as X, by definition, that means he can afford less Ys. He can afford less goods, less quantities of Y because they're more expensive. Because at the end of the day, he must spend the same amount of money. And just for the sake of the example, to understand the intuition even better, let's give a hypothetical example. So let's suppose, so in question four over here, let's suppose that the 50% of his money is 100 euros. So he's spending 100 euros for X and 100 euros for Y. We also know that Y is twice as expensive as X. So let's say one unit of X, let me write it like that, one unit of X would be 10 euros and one unit of Y should be twice as much, which is 20 euros. Now, with 10 euros, he can buy, uh, with 10 euros for X, he can buy 10 X's, with 20 euros for Y, he can buy five Y's, because at the end of the day, both have to match up to the 100 euros. And we can see clearly that he is buying twice as much X relative to Y. So for consumer A, this does not work out. He cannot buy the same amount of X and Y. With the exact same example, with the exact same logic, let's have a look at consumer B. What do we know about consumer B? Consumer B spends 33% of his income on X, 66% of his income on Y. So he spends twice as much on Y as he does on X. Now, what does that mean? Well, if that is the case, then instead of having, let's say, 100 euros on X and 100 euros on Y, maybe the relationship is... Uh, yeah, this is not really going to work out because 200 by 3 is not perfectly divisible. Uh, but okay, let's let, let's keep it like that. So 200 euros over 3, that's going to be the share that he's spending on good X. 200 divided by 3, right? That's 1 over 3 out of 200 euros total. It goes on X and 200 times 2 over 3 goes for good Y. So that means... 400 over 3 euros goes for good y and we know that the price of x is 10 and the price of y is equal to 20 so what does that mean how much how much he's gonna buy in terms of x how much is he gonna buy in terms of y well 200 divided by 3 goes for x 200 divided by 3 this number divided by 10 euros of x is gonna equal to 200 divided by 30 units of x so these are the units of x that he's buying now let's do the same logic over here. He has 400 over 3 euros to spend on Y. So this is money to spend on Y. How many Ys, how many quantities of Y can we buy? We're gonna buy Ys where we pay 20 euros for each. So that means 400 divided by 3 times 20, 60. If we cancel out and do some math here, we can simplify this fraction by 2. So that would be... 200 divided by 30 units of Y. What do we see? Well, we can see that consumer B spends a money, actually buys the same quantity of X as he does the quantity of Y. And that's, that's the proof, that's the proof that consumer B uh, would buy the same amount of good X and good Y. We did that with a hypothetical example without actually using much algebra because we could have done by using the formula for the AMRS where the marginal utilities the marginal utilities would equal to the ratio of the prices but the point that we're trying to prove here the intuition that we're trying to prove is that if consumer b is spending twice as much on y as he does on x then he can afford the same amounts the same amounts except that at the end of the day he is going to spend twice as much on y which he actually does by looking at his utility function Anyway, hope this makes sense and we are done.